Hey everybody, it's Rob with Bearhawk Life. I just uh, got a visitor today. I couldn't believe it. Brian Wallstrom's here from the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Hey everyone. Brian, what brings you to town? You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you've been doing some interviews today and uh, with others in, in the area. Tell people what uh, what you got going on. Yeah, I mean, I've been at home for the past, I don't know, a month and a half trying to you know, stay home and stay uh, distance, which we're, we're roughly about yeah. six feet apart today. <laughs> yeah. Um, and anyway, I just need to get out and, and visit some more fellow builders and aviators. And uh, Rob um, is up here in the Carolinas. I visit another uh, manufacturer, Acme Aero, uh, that's right next door. So I figured I'd, I'd drop in on Rob and say hello and see the progress, which he's made an amazing amount of progress uh, since the last time that I was up here. So. Yep, so here's the plane. So, Brian, your your channel is the Experimental Aircraft Channel, and uh, tell people about how you started that channel and what your mission is. Sure. Well, uh, Rob was one of you. Go all the way back, scroll all the way down. Yeah. Rob was one of the very first people that I interviewed, and I really didn't know uh, a whole lot about YouTube, about the industry, and just you know just getting started. Um, but uh, it was an idea I had, thinking that maybe one day when I retire. I would just go around visiting fellow builders and aviators and just check out what's in their garage yeah. and showcase uh, the kind of spaces and places that you can build aircraft. Weird places you yeah. find airplanes being built. Yeah, and I was just like, why am I waiting until I'm retired? Why not just try this now? So I bought a camera, bought a computer, some editing software, and just hit the road. And again, Rob was one of the first people that I was able to interview and just really impressive with, I mean, aviation is an easy conversation, right? So uh, sometimes we can talk too long about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've uh, been blamed for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's how that got started, and it's just a, a, an absolute passion of mine to be able to meet people and see where and what they're building in their garages and workshops, and I think Rob is a great example of this. Um, he ordered a kit, and of all places, I mean, you've, you're following his channel, you see where he lives, you see where he's building. He's in a one-car, elongated one-car garage, yep. and in a townhouse, and he's making his dream of uh, building an airplane come true right where he's at. Yeah. So you don't have to be in a hangar to do this. Um, you can start right where you're at. And that's what's really amazing about experimental light sport and ultralight type of exactly. aviation. Yep. So Brian's doing a great job documenting builders and manufacturers, people who service the experimental world. Uh, it's an amazing uh, industry in itself. People have standalone businesses based around the experimental building and home building and all of that. And he helps to get that out there so people can see more about uh, what's available to them and resources and things like that so thanks again brian for coming out and uh, we look forward to hopefully the next time he's back this thing's up in the air and he can sit in the right seat and watch us i'm looking forward to taking a ride for yeah, sure absolutely. absolutely yeah all right all right thanks brian take care guys